Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 13th, 2023. Well, let's take a look at what happened overnight here. We had Asian markets that were mostly lower, um, but mixed. Um, China kind of led everyone lower, being down 1.15%, dropping back down below that critical 3,000 level, or psychological level, I should say, in their index. Hong Kong was also lower by 0.89%, while Australia and the Nikkei had modest gains um, yesterday. They're reacting um, with uh, some uncertainty to the Fed rate decision coming up today. However, European markets are holding bullish across the board, even though yesterday they ended up closing down across the board, um, holding um, bullishly across the board with some modest gains um, out there. Um, and the UK reported a GDP decline of 0.3%. Here in the US, We've got all kinds of bullishness going on. Um, even the, yesterday, as volumes were pretty light, we just continued to melt to the upside. Remarkable strength in the overall market. And we've got futures right now at 5.30 a.m. this morning. We've got futures pointing to a bullish open with tremendous confidence that um, the Fed is going to be dovish. We shall see on that. Now we have oil. We have oil that is kind of flat. Um, we've got it bouncing around here in the mid-range, which is really kind of interesting because the market right now sees that there is a demand problem and an oversupply problem in um, energy, even as energy falls. And yet we don't see any of those kind of consequences or problems with the consumer. Um, right now, we're just buying everything to the upside. So kind of an interesting dynamic going on here in the market. We see demand problems due to inflation um, in the energy sector, but nowhere else. Um, so what does all this mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do very much appreciate it. Hey, I'm going to ask you guys for a quick favor here this morning before we start the video. I'm going to show you a picture. This is a carving. Uh, I, I do wood carving as a hobby, and as you can see in, in this wood, um, nothing special. It's a Santa Claus carving. There is a contest going on right now. A wood carving illustrated magazine has a contest. And it's just a public vote for um, for carvings. If you guys would have any interest at all, I'm going to leave a link just below the title of the video. And if you want to help me out a little bit, if you could go over there, click on that link. You don't have to sign up for anything. Click on the link. The picture will pop up. You'll just scroll down a little bit. Picture will pop up, and there's a little banner down there with a heart. Click that, and you're done. So thank you for those that might be interested in helping me out. I'm doing pretty good on this carving, but we'll see if there's any chance of winning anything. It's probably unlikely. But thank you for anyone who would consider um, helping on that. The contest will be over on the 14th. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. And remember, let's try to shake off our bias here in the market. One thing, one thing you've got to just, I mean, the bulls are so incredibly resilient here, continuing to push on higher, continuing to stretch, um, melting higher, honestly, on relatively low volume. And if I put my drawings here on the chart, you can see yesterday we broke through this resistance in here, continuing to push higher. And if um, the bulls continue to uh, find all that inspiration here in the market, every reason to believe that we could push on up here and retest and test these highs. I'm going to grab this and back this up and show you in here that we did have a close. Um, um, 
on this day that was um, uh, well higher significantly higher than where we are but the next day we ended up selling back off so to get up there we're going to have to close above this candle to make that new record high in the market and i kind of think the market or the dow anyway has a pretty good chance of seeing that occur so if those bulls continue to find that inspiration let's look for that push up in here um, if we close up in this re region we're likely to get that um, new record high in the diamonds um, i think it's getting all dressed up and, and pushing the way they are right now and missing that mark just seems kind of unlikely to me at the moment. Now, if the uh, bears were to come up with some data today to, um, to, to suggest um, it wakes up the bears, then uh, a push back down here to test the support looks likely to me. And if we were to fail through there, then I would suggest pushing down into here to test these areas of price support in that consolidation would be next. Beyond that, it gets a little bit sketchy where we could find some painful pullbacks in the market. And right now, I just don't see that in, in the charts. The, uh, the bulls are relentless here. Um, nothing seems to matter. Just keep pushing the prices higher. If we take a look at our SPY, now SPY, um, also on a relatively low volume move, continued to push uh, to the upside here, stretching into that next level of price resistance that I, I talked about this area right in here um, back in 2021 and 2022. So we're pushing up close to that. There's every reason to believe that we will continue that push here this morning, trying to break through this level of price resistance in the chart. And if that were to break, then my suggestion is we're probably going to come up here and notice these little tips and tops right here. And 21 and 2022 that we could certainly attack here on the day so pushing through this level here with this would be that next level to the upside if those bulls have the energy today if the bears come up with energy in the data today maybe a pushback but you'll notice in here the pushback we've created quite a few levels of price support and a pretty strong consolidation right in here so push back into here um, certainly does look like a possibility and if that were to fail then maybe we'd come back down and test this area of the chart but I don't know that that would hurt us all that much um, um, overall the bulls are so resilient right now um, it, it really is going to be probably something in the economy situation that um, would bring those bears back right now the bulls are absolutely convinced that the Fed is going to become um, suddenly dovish. We'll see if that's the case today. If we take a look at our QQQ, our QQQ continues to stretch to the upside. We're now one, two, three, four days and trying to move five days to the upside here, even with all the data that we have coming. And, you know, looking at that CPI yesterday, I'm not sure the Fed is going to be really happy with it, but the market just doesn't seem to care right now so we continue to melt to the upside here on this move um, as you know i measure i put a little mark right here um, on the chart for these little top areas right through here to uh, maybe provide some resistance and we came close to testing that yesterday we're trying to pop through it here this morning and that would mean our next area would be to come up here and really test all-time highs in the qqq so let's watch that now remember we're going to need to close up here to get those all-time highs but um, we could pop out and even pull back briefly touch it and pull back and there's certainly going to be headlines uh oh all-time highs in the market so um um, kind of keep that in mind here in the NASDAQ. Um, every reason to believe this is going to be pushing higher here today. If the bears do come up with some data today that brings them out, then maybe a push back down into here to test this price support would be logical. Um, and then if that were to fail, then we're starting to look at some price areas down in here and then down into here. Um, in the market, but the relentless bull right now, I, I don't know, it, it seems like you could throw anything bad at it and it's still going to go up. And then if you take um, a look at our IWM, 
IWM struggling, continuing to struggle. We don't have big tech in here, and that's been one of the major drivers um, um, overall in all three uh, the major indexes where IWM doesn't have that benefit. And we've been seeing it continue to kind of struggle here against some resistance in the chart, albeit very, very bullish. So if we can see those bulls find that inspiration today, then maybe a push through that resistance in the chart, and then we would look for that next move to push on up to this next area um, of um, IWM. We're getting very, very close to this relatively steep upside trend. If we slip past this trend in here, there is that chance that we could continue to chop around in here until we come out here to this longer term trend before we move up. If the bears find inspiration today, well, I would suggest maybe a pullback into here. Maybe we come back and test this area price support. And if that were to fail, back down into here. Let's take a look at our VIX. The VIX yesterday continued to drop as if there is no fear here in the market. Um, everyone is absolutely convinced that the Fed's going to roll over, that they're going to back off completely. We're dropping into a very complacent zone here in uh, the VIX with just ultimate confidence that um, the market is going to continue to move to the upside. And perhaps they're right. I will caution everyone and I'll continue to caution everyone. It's a good idea when we get this complacent and this bullish in the market to start raising those stops and protecting your profits because sooner or later that will change. We'll want to watch that carefully. Markets will not zoom straight up forever. And remember, when we take a look at things like moving averages, this is an incredible extension away from moving averages here in the chart. So just keep in mind, we will um, find a test of that 50-day moving average in either a longer term consolidation or a protracted pullback in the market. So just be prepared. Some point in time, the market will turn lower. If we take a look at our T2122, our T2122, although we were moving up yesterday, this is kind of remarkable. Uh, T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio, actually declined. We had more stocks selling off than moving up yesterday, even though it just seems like everything is uber bullish. Well, there may be a little bit of a problem with that. But that being said, if the bulls find inspiration in the data today, we've opened up an opportunity here for more upside stretch in our T2122. So keep an eye on that. And if the bears find inspiration today, then we certainly have opportunity to the downside in a pretty big way if those bears become inspired. Let's take a look at our T2108. Our T2108, the percentage of stocks above the 40 day. This is that interesting dynamic that we had yesterday and why I said we melted up is because um, T2122 showed us that we had more stocks declining than going up. T2108 shows us that we had a fewer, I mean, a few stocks slipping back below their 40 day moving average and in decline yesterday. But there's nothing wrong here with this chart. I do think this is starting to look like a little bit of a topping pattern here, but the bulls are still very much in control and it depends on how the data comes out today, whether or not we'll continue to move higher. Keep in mind, we've got this little downtrend trend here in that chart, um, adding to a little bit of resistance but if we do pull back, we have considerable support levels underneath. So no particular worries just yet, but it is interesting as we melt higher, we're starting to see some of these numbers not look so bullish. And then our T2107 uh, did the same thing. It actually turned a little bit lower yesterday. And that's just you know a bit of a concern that as we continue to melt higher, we're starting to see that uh, faltering just a little bit. Now the trend here is still bullish. We're okay here. In fact, we're better here than T2108. Got some support level below. Um, bulls are still in control here, so make no mistake about that.
And then our T2101 continued to show breadth declining yesterday. We continue to see this pullback in breadth. Remember, corporate buybacks are, are running into that blackout period, likely slowing down just a little bit. We'll see how this works today. As you'll notice here, yesterday we finished the day with a little bit of a hook right in here, a little bit of that hockey stick right there um, on the bottom. So what um, if you're a bull, what you want to see is you want to see today in the data, you want to see um, that breadth picking back up to the bullish side, um, suggesting that there is still plenty of energy coming into the market to push things up. What you don't want to see is if the bears activate and we were to see this increase on a sell wave if the bears were to come in today. So watch that close. I think on the both sides of the market, what we probably don't want to see is we don't want to see on a day like today, we don't want to see that breadth continuing to decline overall because that would be a real uh, problem here as we continue to stretch higher in the market. It's a major divergence starting to go on with the breadth of the market and the extension that we're seeing in the charts. Now let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar, obviously, we have several things to be paying attention to here this morning. First off, we're going to have mortgage applications this morning, and then we're going to get that PPI number. Looking at the PPI, um, if you can see, we're, we're expecting the month, uh, monthly, month over month, PPI to increase to 0.1. It was a negative five last time. Year over year, however, they're looking that for that to decline to one point. Um, X food and energy, they're looking at that and coming up to 0.2 from a, a 0, 0.0 last read and year over year looking for it to decline by two tenths from 2.4 to 2.2. So keep an eye on that. Another um, mix of data uh, possible here in the PPI. If we take a look past that, we've got Atlanta, Atlanta Fed business inflation expectations. Petroleum status numbers could be important today, particularly the way oil has been um, acting and responding. So watch that carefully. We've got a four month bill auction. And then of course, the big data of the day that the market will be waiting for. And that's gonna be the FOMC announcement. Everyone is expecting that the Fed is not gonna raise rates. I don't think anyone has any concern over that. What's gonna be interesting is going to be the Fed press conference and how uh, Jerome Powell sounds when he comes out and talks and provides their exp um, um, their uh, expectations uh, for the future here in um, rates. So watch that carefully here today. Expect some volatility. Um, it could be substantial volatility around these numbers today. A lot of sensitivity on this and a lot of anticipation going in that the Fed's going to be hawkish and telling everybody they're going to start cutting rates here soon. We'll see. Um, remember, after that, we can't, we're not done this week. We're going to get jobless claims, retail sales, um, import export prices, business inventories, natural gas reports, some bond auctions, and a Fed balance sheet on Thursday. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar here today. Now, we do have some earnings today, a few more notables. We didn't have much of anything yesterday except that JCI as a notable, and uh, JCI ended up not doing too well yesterday on its earnings report. Report. But today we're going to have um, reports from ABM. ABM getting a nice surge here this morning. I'm guessing this is a result of their earnings report and not just the bullishness of the pre-market. But watch that carefully looking like a nice pop here in ABM. Um, we've got Adobe that will be reporting today. This has been stretching into uh, this, you know, uh, toward the high points here in Adobe, heading into its earnings report today. So watch that. CGNT will be reporting today. It's also trying to gap higher into some resistance this morning. Keep an eye on CGNT. NDSN will be reporting today. This has been moving in an awfully strong upside trend, coming into some resistance, getting a little pullback. That'll be one to watch here today to see whether that reverses back to the upside or turns back lower. 
PLAB is on that list today and also doing very well on the bullish side of this market, trying to push on up. And last but not least, REVG will be reporting today. And this thing is already extending up here nicely, pushing up to some um, resistance here in 2021. Um, watch that carefully, really stretching here in the market, heading into its earnings report. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me that quick favor, if you could um, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, click the subscribe button, um, that helps. And also clicking that bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post a video helps a ton. And thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that and leaves a brief comment. Remember, even on emoji counts as engagement with the video. Thank you very, very much for all the kind support that you show this channel. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up. And remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You've got to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in the market. Um, and just be ready for some volatility today. Anything is, is possible. Um, let's take a look at um, a couple things that I think could be interesting today and really move around quite a bit. First off, watch the dollar. You can see dollar yesterday pulled back. It's trying to push up just a little bit this morning. This could be quite volatile today, depending on how we react to the market, because it's going to depend on um, the the way things change in um, the what the Fed has to say. The way things change in bonds. This morning we've got ten-year bonds pulling back, continuing to fall. But we'll want to watch this carefully, depending on how the, what the Fed says, because we were, are likely to see a reaction here in the dollar. And that will also probably play out as a reaction into some of these stocks um, in the treasuries, the bond uh, funds. I would watch those closely today. Could be some substantial volatility in these later on today. Um, but that being said, TLT right now, beautiful, beautiful. Um, long setup here, uh, pulling back, finding support, continuing to show that bullishness here this morning as those 10 years, 10 year bonds continue to slide lower. So watch that closely. Some upside in this, uh, BND, you can take a look. Wow, nice pop there in BND this morning. You can take a look at um, uh, tip bonds. They're showing bullishness here. You can take a look at junk bonds. They're showing bullishness here. Um, in fact, breaking on through some resistance here in junk bonds this morning. So watch that closely. If the Fed does come off dovish, I would look for those to really soar to the upside. If they sound m more hawkish, we could easily see that pullback substantially. So be careful there. Now, also, let's take a look at some other areas of the market. Um, SKLZ, you guys know that I have been talking about this for a while. It's been fading the last couple of days trying to get a little bullishness here in the pre-market this morning as long as it can hold in here around this area of price support if those bear or bulls can step back in and push back up i would be watching carefully for that opportunity with the relentlessness of this market there's every reason to believe that that could pump back up and hold in this area so keep an eye on that boy i really like the way um, international paper was setting up it had a rough day yesterday pu pushing back down but if we take a look at this on a longer term chart and that's probably where something like um, international paper would be a really good trade is um, this pullback in here be watching for that next higher low to occur in here and then possibly looking for that longer term position in international paper coke continued to melt on higher yesterday pushing on up out of this breakout as you guys know i've been talking about this one quite a bit continuing to move up and in that consumer defensive sector looking pretty good if we take a look at stocks like KHC again consumer defensive sector continuing to stretch to the upside looking very bullish I would expect a rest or pullback in this at any time 
but we're cert certainly seeing a lot of this um, sector perking up. Take a look at CLX. Now CLX has been struggling with this resistance here. Yesterday, bullish engulfing candle, that possibility here that CLX could push on through that resistance and move on up looks pretty good. We've got Colgate Palmolive that had a really good day yesterday, popping up here in the market, reclaiming um, some support. So watch this carefully in here. There's every reason to believe that could continue to extend to the upside. So lots in that consumer defensive area showing tremendous bullishness. Other places in the market to be keeping an eye on. Um, been seeing um, quite a reversal here in LVS. Uh, moving back up, trying to stretch up here. See if it can break through that resistance. Reclaim that support. May look on higher. If you look at Penn National, doing the same. Had a nice little stretch up here. Trying to deal with some resistance in the chart see if that can move up our financials just continue to rip to the upside right now anything in banking um, has just been ripping to the upside despite the fact that they are suffering massive losses because of these bond prices no one seems to care at the moment um, watch this up here as we approach this resistance uh, to see if it can break on through but lots and lots of bullishness there take a look at 3m nice little little resting pattern coming in here in 3M, a little resting pullback back to trend. Watch that carefully. If we continue to see this bullishness in the market, every reason to believe that could push on through. Taking a look at stocks like Altria. Altria has been struggling here quite a bit. There is a potential that this could actually fail here underneath this trend. So I would be watching this uh, on Altria maybe for a potential short uh, PLTR. PLTR is a classic setup for a short. We have a um, head and shoulders pattern here showing in the chart. And this is a pattern that we call the bearish H. We break this support in here, come down, round over a top underneath that downtrend. PLTR looks like it has some downside here in the market to be paying attention to. So keep an eye on um, that one. Lowe's, Lowe's in a nice little um, setup here. Been resting sideways in this chart, looking very, very bullish. Look for that next opportunity here where we could find those buyers. You can see bulls um, stepped up here yesterday. Um, anytime in this pattern, we could see that break of this resistance and continued stretch here in Lowe's. And, uh, you know, if Home Depot is any kind of gauge of what's possible in that sector, holy cow, just going up like a rocket ship ride here in Home Depot. Now, I wouldn't want to chase this into this resistance, but Lowe's looks like it's underbought um, at the moment by comparison to Home Depot and may be a good eye, um, opportunity to the upside here soon. So keep a close eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you to everyone who does consider voting on that, that carving. I don't know if there's a chance of me winning but anything in, in there but just the fact that um, I've had so many people vote on it so far is, is kind of rewarding so just fun to compete thank you so much everyone and have a wonderful day we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning take care everyone